Hello, in today's video, we are going to build the VPC with the Net and Security Group on Brainboard. So let's get started. As a first resource, we are going to use the region. Then here, we configure it. Let's say the name is going to be region, and here is going to be California. Now we are going to make it bigger to include a VPC. So here, we include it in the region. And then here we're going to say it's default VPC. Advanced configuration, the CW block is going to be a variable, so it's going to be var dot VPC. Up. Here default. Here we have the tags, and here we have the meta arguments with the count, the depends on, and the for each. Now we are going to configure our variable. So it's going to be value is going to be 10. The description is going to be here. We can flag it as sensitive if we want to. And then we can close the tab. Now we make it bigger to include an internet gateway we included in the vpc so here is going to be internet gateway advanced configuration we have the vpc id here so we're good we're going to call it ig internet gateway now we are going to need a vpc routing table going to be here and then we configure it so here is going to be public advanced configuration we have the row and the same the block is going to be this one the gateway ID is going to be internet gateway ID. and here we're good so now we need the az So here we're going to be AZ1, advanced configuration 1A, we can close it. Make it bigger and this. So here, like that, and this one is going to be AZ2. Advanced configuration 1B. Okay, so now we need subnet. So we have the subnet here and we are going to configure it. So here is going to be public subnet A. Then we have advanced configuration with the set block is going to be a variable as well. So here is going to be var public. Let's call submit. Let's call here. Here we have the tags. We're good. Now we're going to configure it. So here we have a public subnet. It's going to be this value string. The description we add it here. We flag sensitive and then we're good. Now we can make it bigger and we need another one. Still in the AZ. So here now we are going to add text and we are going to say that it's public subnet A. Public subnet B.
Okay, so now we need row table association. Row table association is this one. So now we are going to configure it. So it's row table association A. Row table ID is going to be row table public ID is this one. Advanced configuration, we already have the subnet ID. So here we're good. Ah, and here we're going to modify the shape. It's going to be like that. Yes. So now we need another round table association is going to be here. We actually configure it. So it's round table association two. Here we have road table public ID. Here we're good. Advanced configuration we have the subnet ID here. So now this one we are going to modify the shape. It's going to be like that. Perfect. Now we need network ACL. It's going to be this one. So we are going to configure it. So here is network ACL, VPC ID. We have the subnet ID is going to be VPC dot default like that here. Then we have the ingress and the extra attributes and we're good to go here. So this one we need another one is going to be here. Perfect. Now we need a NAT gateway. It's going to be here. Then now we are going to configure it. So the NAT gateway here, it's NAT gateway A. Allocation ID, we need another resource. So we are going to create another resource. It's going to be EC2 here. And then we configure it. So here it's going to be in uh, A. Advanced configuration. We have the tags. So here we use the name. And here we go. Advanced configuration. Allocation ID. So here. Allocation ID. So it's not this one. We need to be careful about it. So it's going to be. B. Perfect. It's going to be this one. So here we are good. Now we need this and this there. So we can just copy paste the resources. And here we are good. Okay. So now we need here subnet we can actually configure them here into az and then we can modify the configuration is going to be public so private subnet a vpc and already configured here we need a variable so it's going to be var private subnet here 
we have the tank so we're good to go here so now we go to the tab here string here is going to be the value is going to be this one here we have don't forget a sensitive and here we're good Perfect. Now here we need in the subnet we are going to modify it. It's going to be private subnet. Okay. It's going to be in blue. Here it's going to be private subnet B. Now we need security group. We are going to modify the shape, of course, here. So we have private AGA, advanced configuration. We have the tags here, VPC ID. So we're good. Now, of course, we modify the shape here. And then we need the number one here. So now we created our architecture. We have the code. We are going to make sure that everything is there. So we have the main.tf. We can have also output if we want. So here on the output, if we want to create, simply need to add the name, the value, description, sensitive, true or false. Then here, of course, I showed you how to create your variables and you can also create your locals if you want. Then here we have the providers.tf. They have the variables, the variables, and the locals if you have created locals. You can also add your readme here for the documentation. Now that we checked everything, we are going to do a Terraform plan to make sure that the code is actually valid. Here, Brainbow will do a Terraform init. Everything is green. So here, as Brainboard is a collaborative solution, so imagine that you're working with one of your colleagues and, and he has done the apply. Here, Brainboard will directly recognize that there is an ongoing action. So you need to switch off the plan before you can actually deploy this infrastructure. So here, I hope we make it bigger. I hope this video has been useful for you. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to help you build your own use case on Brandboard. Have a great day.